Hello, this is Terry, a.k.a. Locksmithic. <coughs> Excuse me there. Today we're going to make uh, some more vegetation. This is called a Perpepulon barbed lily. Six-year-old came up with the name Perpepulon, probably because there's purple in it. And barbed lily, I thought it looked like a lily. So uh, we're going to start off with a piece of uh, egg crate. Um, cut these edges off, and you want to use a um, cardboard type of... Um, egg crate. You don't want the styrofoam style or the foam style. Anyway, you'll cut these edges off. Okay, cut those off all the way around. And then wash it in some thraca green. Okay. Then we'll want to take a Q-tip. Okay, a regular Q-tip. If you want to use one end, you can. Clip it off. Make sure you use the clean side in your project. Next, we're going to take some toothpicks. These should be cut relatively in half. If you want these shorter, you can. Just cut these all in half. Watch out for the finger. We're going to take our crack of green wash, just dip the head in there, okay, and just let that drizzle down, portion, portion of it, okay. Take a little Griffin sepia. Okay. And I've made a little stand over here to let this dry. Just a little the piece of egg cart and we're going to let that dry. Okay, we're back. It's, it's not quite dry yet, but uh, we're, we're going to continue with this part. Take your glue gun and just give it a little shot around the edge there. Okay. We're going to take our uh, toothpicks and give them a little slant. Put them in each corner to start with. Okay. Give it a little more to the very top there. And stick this in the middle. Now we're going to let that dry. Okay, while we're waiting for our main piece to dry, um, I've gotten into the, uh, the garbage or rubbish bin. <laughs> and um, gotten some old masking tape that I used for other projects. Retrieve that from the trash. And what we're going to do is cut some relatively thin leaf shapes here. Something like that. You want four of these. 
you want a couple that are thin and a couple that are a little broader. And they want them relatively the same, you know, in nature nothing's exactly the same, so they don't have to be exactly the same, but you want them to look close. If they're at least, you know, part of the same plant. Like I said, we're going to make these a little smaller. Okay. Now on the end here, in the flat end, we're going to want to knock that. Just like I told you with the toothpick before, on the arrow, we're in that little knock in the end. Actually, I'm going to make that a little better. Okay, and you want to do that to all these. Take these, and bend them down the middle. Just fold them in half, make a real tight crease. It's going to give us ridges. It makes it look like a real leaf. Okay? It's a little origami here with tape. All right, and then we're going to fold it and fold it again. And you want to do this to all the pieces. That's why I like to double my tape up so when you fold it, you don't stick to yourself. All right, I'm wasting time there. Anyway, fold these in half. See that ridge you get in there? Really tight on this one. And then a couple folds here and there along the edge. See it sort of waves it and ripples it. Is it ready to receive its wash? And I'll probably shorten this so you don't have to watch me doing all these. Just fold it down the length, fold it in a couple other places. Move it back up. this one on it's taped in. So I'm going to come back and when these are all ready to get washed I'll come back. All right I had to make another one actually because I folded it over on the uh, sticky part. So we're going to hit these with some heavy bracket green wash. And you want to make sure that the crease gets a lot of that detail. Do not put too much on that one. There we go. Okay. Make sure you get it heavy in the creases and that way that ridge line there looks a little darker. Now we've got to let those dry. <coughs> 